Well, we are just days away from the unofficial start of summer, and this morning we are helping you get that beach bag, that pool bag, wherever you're going. Oh, I'm packed. excited. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and that also means some items need to go in the trash. Absolutely. And Abilene Rico joining us right now to verify more on that this morning. Uh, some of those items that we're talking about that may need to go in the trash, is that the little sunscreen you have in your hand, Fred? Well, well, I was going to get to that, Larry. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I've got an animation all timed out. Don't you worry. Your towel, your hat, your sandals, your sunnies, and yes, Larry, your sunscreen. These are the must-have accessories of the summertime. But when you're lathered up in last season's SPF, is it more than just out of fashion? Let's verify, does sunscreen expire? Here's a look at these sources right here on your screen we checked in with to find out. Turns out, yes. Sunscreen expires, after which time there is no assurance the product remains effective, according to the FDA and dermatologists. I would take it seriously. About one in five Americans gets a skin cancer at some point in life. If you're putting it on your skin, it's important that it, that it does the trick for you. Um, so I would take a look at that bottle. However, you might not actually be able to see that date printed on the sunscreen. According to the FDA, their regulations require sunscreens and other non-prescription drugs to have expiration date labels unless testing shows the product will remain stable for at least three years, which means anything that doesn't have a printed use by date or anything you just don't know what the use by date is should be considered expired after three years. Could be a good idea to try using a magic marker to write the date of purchase on your new bottles. And you also want to make sure you store sunscreen away from any heat and direct sunlight as well to keep it from going bad. If you can't be sure you did that, even with last summer's stash, you might want to consider a trip to the sunscreen aisle. If you've got sunscreen that's been hanging around since last year, it will still work, but it won't be as effective as it would have been if it was new. Here's the thing, if you're going to all the trouble of applying sunscreen, you want to make sure it's actually doing its job. And don't forget, on long days in the sun, no matter how high the SPF is, experts say sun sunscreen should be reapplied at least every two hours, even more often when you're swimming or sweating. And Chester, the days where we're really going to have to be paying attention to that, maybe setting an alarm on your phone to reapply, not yeah. too far off. No, in fact, I would say uh, you definitely want to start wearing it now. And we are going to see those hotter, sunnier days in the weeks to come. Today, though,